Hey, let's talk about the Batman. Welcome to another edition of Rewind, Relive, and Review. I'm Rick. This is the show where we talk about movies, music, and TV shows. And I got a 4K disc that I want to go over today. Most of you have already seen it, but I'm going over the specs and the picture and the sound quality on this 4K. And the movie is The Batman. Now, full disclosure on this, I did not see the movie in theaters when it was first announced. I didn't really think that I would care about it, but let me tell you, after I saw it, I was impressed. All right, so first things first, let's talk about the Batman film itself. Now I'm not going to go too in depth with it as most of us have already seen the movie, but for those few who haven't. Uh, it did come out this year. It was directed by Matt Reeves. If you're familiar with uh, the Planet of the Apes movies, the newer ones, he's the one that did that one. And in this film, it is still the DC Comics character of Batman. It is produced by Warner Brothers. It's kind of a reboot of the entire Batman film franchise. And I will say this, when it was first announced, uh, because Robert Pattinson is playing Bruce Wayne slash Batman I was one of those naysayers and detractors I didn't think or feel comfortable thinking that the Twilight boy was going to make a good Batman I will say this after that initial first trailer which by the way blew me away I was hooked they had me now I didn't go see it in theaters. However, once I got this 4K, I already knew I was gonna like it. Sat down, watched it, and was absolutely amazed. In addition to Pattinson, the film also stars Zoe Kravitz, Paul Dano, Jeffrey Wright, John Turturro, Peter Sarsgaard, Andy Serkis, and Colin Farrell. Yes, that Colin Farrell. He plays the penguin and the makeup job is excellent. If I didn't know it in advance, I wouldn't have believed it was him. Now, this film picks up with Batman who's been fighting crime in Gotham City for about two years. And he uncovers corruption while pursuing the Riddler, who is a uh, serial killer played by Dano. This film has grossed over $769 million against a budget of about 185 to 200 million dollars and that made it the second highest grossing film of 2022 so this is a grittier more detective oriented batman movie he doesn't have a whole lot of gadgets he still has a few and i will say this about the batmobile this is one of the best batmobiles around it's grounded a lot more in reality it's it's a souped up muscle car it's badass I think with what they did to put this together the entire film it's a true mark of excellence I wasn't a believer at first I was very skeptical like I said but they quickly made a believer out of me and apparently millions of other people as well and they've already announced an upcoming sequel All right, so let's talk about those 4K specs. Okay, so I got the 4K. Although I have several DVDs, several Blu-rays, I'm still kind of a noob when it comes to the 4K disc. My 4K game is kind of weak compared to others. I'm not gonna lie, I don't have a whole bunch. Uh, you can check out my description and there's a link to the entire movie collection and you'll see that there's a lot less 4Ks than anything else. But that's going to change, especially after looking at this movie in 4K. First things first, I know the cover says 4K and a Blu-ray and a digital code. There's actually three discs in here. There's the 4K, of course, there's the Blu-ray, and there's another Blu-ray with over two hours of special features. And 
As a collector, I love the special features. Now, real quick, going back to the cover, as we've seen the front and the back and the inside, if you focus in on Batman's eye, there's actually a little green question mark there. That's some great detail. I didn't even notice that for the first two days that I had this disc. I don't know. I get excited about little details like that. Okay, now back to the set in general. The picture quality, I am definitely giving this a 3.75. Damn good. Sound, I'm also giving it a 3.75. It's your basic 4K packaging. I'm giving that a 3.5. So, the score all together for this movie is a 3.66. Damn good score, damn good movie. I didn't think it was going to be what it turned out to be. And it just goes to show you, if you give something a chance, you'll be surprised. So there you have it, gang. An absolute positive to add to the collection. If you're a collector like me, go out and get it. Also, be sure and leave me your thoughts and your comments on the movie as well as the 4K disc. So yeah, it is very much worth it. I say get it, I say watch it, you'll love it. So that's the Batman on 4K, also available on Blu-ray and DVD. But if you've got a 4K player and a 4K capable TV, definitely go with high def. Okay, that'll about wrap it up for now, but make sure that you like, share, subscribe, check out one of the other music, movie, or TV show videos that we have on here. Also, me and my brother Kaz, we do reactions and reviews on the channel called Sizzle or Fizzle. Check them out as well. Leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Let me know what you want to see in the future. I want to build this channel for entertainment fans. All right? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again.